Hi there, I'm Tyler Ballhorn, and this is the Stock Scores Market Minutes for May 21st, 2012. This week's topic, trading time frames. In a longer-term time frame is trendless and boring. It is sometimes helpful to look to that shorter time frame for trading opportunities. Now, you can position trade daily charts, but if the daily chart isn't going anywhere, consider looking to the intraday for swing trading opportunities. Using a 15-minute chart, for example, you can find good entry signals even when the market is pretty boring. Here's an example. On the S&P 500, we can see that the longer-term upward trend was broken earlier in May, and today was a pretty strong upward day, but if you look at the daily chart, it really doesn't stand out. There is no entry signal there. We really haven't had an entry signal uh, since early in May when we had that short breakdown from a falling top. However, if you go to the intraday chart, you can see that the downward trend line on the intraday was broken today, and that presents a little bit more of a trading opportunity. So even though in the context of the longer-term daily chart is pretty boring, we can see here a nice little entry signal that tells us this market wants to go higher in the very short term. So sometimes just looking to different time frames is a good way to find trading opportunities. All right, well, let's get into the analysis of the markets. The S&P 500, as I said, broke down early in May, and it is now in a downward sloping channel. We are at the bottom of that channel right now where the market should bounce, and today it did bounce. And so I expect we will see a little bit of upside movement over the next week or so as the market makes a comeback from oversold conditions. However, as long as we have a situation where there are falling tops and falling bottoms, we should remain pessimistic on stocks in general. Just look for that opportunity to own stocks in the very short term on a bounce back. Here on the TSX, we see a market that, uh, well, was not open today, being holiday Monday in Canada. However, it is near support where it should bounce and is quite far below that red downward trend line. That means the market is oversold and due for a bounce back. Now, a bounce back doesn't mean that the market is optimistic again. It just means it's taking some of that fear-based emotion out of price. On the VXX, we, of course, call this the fear index, and we saw a break of the downward trend line about a week ago. I went long the VXX, but exited that position early today when that short-term upward trend was broken. I expect now that the VXX may pull back for a little while uh, maybe a couple of days as the market tries to find a base here in stocks in general. But I do see that there continues to be a rising level of concern about what's going on in the world. And while we may see a short-term pullback in the VIX, I think that there will be opportunities to trade this on the long side again soon. This is interesting here. This is a chart of the 20-year Treasury bonds, and you can see how this market has rallied into resistance and got stuck today. And it's perhaps then no coincidence that we see money coming back into stocks, perhaps less fear in the market as money goes back to work taking risk. We don't see a breakdown on this chart, however. We simply see a market that is a bit overbought and therefore likely to pull back in the short term. And of course, that coincides with what we're seeing in the other charts as well. U.S. dollar has been rising quite nicely for the month of May, and that has hurt commodities, but it is now seeing a little bit of profit-taking, and that will help commodities in the short term. I don't think that the trend here is reversing. I think that this chart continues to look like an improving one, and that is really bearish for stocks. Until we see a breakdown from a falling top on the UUP, I wouldn't be too optimistic about the market turning around. Here's a chart of gold, and I'm bearish on gold, although in the short term, in the last few days, we've seen a little bit of a jump higher. This chart, when you look to a five-year time frame, has really broken that long-term upward trend line and is therefore likely to go lower in the months to come. This could be a little bit of a sucker rally here where we see a few days of strength on gold, but unless it breaks this pessimistic pattern, which is really that break of the long-term upward trend line that I've discussed in recent weeks, I wouldn't be too optimistic on gold. Oil has uh, taken a beating in the last little while as the concern about what was going on in Iran has come out of the market, and it is really just oversold right now due for a bounce back. A bounce back does not a trend reversal make, however, and we should remain pessimistic on oil in the longer term, although in the short term we should see a little bit of a comeback. So I've switched my rating this week to neutral on U.S. and Canadian stocks. I really am bearish longer term until the charts improve, but I think that these markets are both oversold and due for a bounce back. The same can be said of oil, and gold has already made a little bit of a bounce back, and I just think it 
probably is more likely to go lower in the weeks and months ahead than it is to be higher. So markets remain bearish longer term, but due for a bounce back, making them bullish in the very short term. Well, that has been the Stock Scores Market Minutes for May 21st, 2012. Have a great week in the market and trade well.